Hi everyone, my name is David Holden, naturopathic oncologist and uh, nutritional biochemist. And I want to talk a bit about the coronavirus today. I know it's been very much in the media and a lot of people are concerned and the authorities have really been quite derelict in saying you can't do anything, just avoid public places, cover your face, and if you've got any symptoms, ring your doctor. <clears throat> the reality is there is a lot you can do to strengthen your immune system. So let's begin with the basics, diet. The key thing is to remove processed foods from your diet because they weaken your immune system. Uh, we have a test machine here, this one here, called the Pharmanex S3 Antioxidant Scanner, and we scan people by putting their hand on this machine, and it reads um, a laser light to find out what your antioxidant score is. And you want the score to be as high as possible, certainly over 40,000. <clears> we do this test in the clinic. What pushes your antioxidants up is eating a lot more of the bright colored vegetables and berry fruits. So what's known as the ORAC score, um, these foods, if you eat lots of them on a daily basis, you will push up the uh, antioxidant score on the machine very quickly and circulating your blood, which will give you more antioxidant protection against viruses and bacteria and other bugs as well. So the highest ORAC foods are organic black currants, organic blueberries, carrots, beetroot, um, dark cacao, and cherry red tomatoes would be the top um, six, and also any berry fruits you can put in. I recommend them in a smoothie with a base of almond milk, a couple of scoops of a protein quality protein powder to make it more of a meal, put an avocado in there, they're in season down under, um, plus these fruits, particularly at least half to one cup of defrosted um, organic blueberries, which you can buy in a pack from the supermarket, at least one large carrot, at least um, two decent sized um, tomatoes that are bright red or a half a dozen of the cherry red ones, little small ones. Um, and um, you can add any other fruit and veg in there, blend it up really well, chew that, don't just swallow it, have it as a meal substitute for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. That will push your score up very, very quick. The obvious things which are known to be antiviral stimulate your vitamin C. You can order on our website, um, um, the Silverstream Liquid Lipo C, which is cheaper than buying it in sachets. I'd have a teaspoon twice a day, morning and night. If you are particularly older, if you're uh, over 65, or if you're dealing with someone who's younger, um, under 10, the immune system isn't as strong, you could bump up the Lipo C. Vitamin D is a very important one. We have a liquid vitamin D you can get from Metagenics, which you can also buy on our website. Um, it's a super liquid, well-absorbed form, one mil for um, someone who's under 10, um, two mils for adults or the elderly, um, straight in the mouth just before a meal, and it will absorb rapidly. And this will elevate your immune response and stimulate it by up to three times. So people who are low in vitamin D have very low immune response. People who are low in vitamin C, very low immune response. What minerals can you take? Zinc is a primary immune system nutrient involved in over 60 different metabolic and biochemical pathways. If you don't have enough zinc in your body, it's a rate limiter to your body detoxifying chemicals, toxins, and viruses and bacteria out of your body. So you need to bump up your zinc levels. I recommend the clinician's liquid zinc. It's a little bottle you can get from the pharmacy, just eight drops in um, uh, Milk, almond milk would be ideal, stirred in that, get it down the hatch once a day, that will help a lot. Selenium is also a vital mineral for boosting your immune system, and the richest food source of selenium is Brazil nuts. So having four to say half a dozen Brazil nuts a day will boost your selenium levels. Now we can get all these tested by blood tests. Um, if you come in and see me, I give you a lab test form, and I fill out the, the tick boxes, for um, serum vitamin D, 25-OH, um, uh, serum zinc, serum um, selenium, and in some cases magnesium if the person's particularly stressed or worried. Now, we know that stress or worry is a major component in dropping your immune response and your um, antioxidant levels because they're consumed 
by the extra worry and stress that goes on. So having a really good headspace, knowing that you are doing things to put you out of harm's way, obviously avoiding crowds, avoiding shopping malls, wearing a mask when you're out in public if the virus becomes an issue in New Zealand, which it hasn't as yet. So if you're weakened by another dis-ease, if you're very young or very old, you're more prone to this infection. Um, and so you should take the steps I've just discussed, boosting your zinc, your selenium, your vitamin D, and your vitamin C to boost the levels up. Now, there is also a very strong antiviral powder you can take from Metagenics called Super Mushroom Complex. And you can buy that off our website. You can stir that into a drink and drink that daily, and that will also boost your immune response. Mushroom extracts, medicinal mushrooms are known to wipe out viruses and bacteria and some fungi. So they are a very, very good boost for your immune response. A um, couple of other things that are important to having a healthy immune system, getting plenty of exercise. We're in summer down under, so we're lucky compared to the Northern Hemisphere for the timing of this outbreak. So getting outside, getting some vitamin D on your body. The other thing with vitamin D, if you want to get it from sun, do so. Just don't get yourself sunburned and expose yourself to sun, full body, front and back. If you have a private backyard where you can do a bit of nude sunbathing, 20 minutes on the front, 20 minutes on the back. When the sun's below 10 o'clock in the morning and after 4 p.m. in the evening, you won't get um, damaged by the sun, and that's a definite option for you. Bear in mind, if you wear sunblock, you won't absorb vitamin D. And if you rub um, any soap on your skin in the shower after you've exposed to sunlight, within five hours of exposure, you'll wash all the vitamin D down the plug hole. So very important that you just wash with warm water, you don't, or cool water if you want, no soap. You can have a soapy shower the next day. By then, all the vitamin D, which forms a sebum on your skin, is absorbed. That is one of the best things you can do for boosting your immune system. Detoxing. I've done other video clips on detoxing, which you can, you can see on, on YouTube and on this website. Have a look at them. If you've never done a detox and you're over 40, you need to. And this is the perfect time of year to detox. So have a look at that video clip. All the information is there. Detoxing involves flushing out toxic chemicals, solvents, um, heavy metals, whole range of bugs that you might come in contact with in everyday life. And a detox will broach all of that. Have a look at that previous video. Clip. Um, the other things I want to talk about, well, basically, I've covered all the basics. Now, if this condition, if this coronavirus um, epidemic does start becoming a major menace in New Zealand. I will come up with other strategies you can use. I know there's three practitioner companies are bringing out new products. They put us on notice that they're bringing out new products this month in February designed to boost immune responses. So I will give you an update on that in due course. The key thing is there's lots you can do to protect yourself. Having a, a, a lower stress state by learning meditation, doing some mindfulness exercises, some visualizations to power up your immune system, eating well, as I said before, avoiding processed foods, lots of salads, lots of berry fruits as desserts. Um, and I would recommend you avoid eating normal, what I call junk chicken. Chicken, when it's growing in big um, um, cages and in big um, contained areas, the animals are pumped with antibiotics, and this weakens their immune system, and it will weaken yours if you eat that flesh. Far better to go for free-range chicken that's running around outside, breathing fresh air, it's getting vitamin D. That All the studies show that those chickens are much higher in vitamin D in their flesh, don't have the antibiotic load. It's a much healthier way to go. If you don't want to eat chicken, go for fish. If you don't eat meat, then just a lot more nuts and seeds, quality protein powders like the clean, lean protein powder you can buy in better health food stores and, um, and chemists. That always helps elevate your immune response because what does your immune system make antibodies out of? Proteins. If you don't have enough protein, you don't manufacture enough antibodies. So that's a really key factor as well. I think that's covered the basics. Um, diet, exercise, supplementation, mindfulness, those are the key factors, and I'll update this 
as time warrants. Hope that helps. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to flick me an email, david at hhc.nz or go on our Facebook page. Thanks for listening. I'll be in touch soon. Bye for now. Stay well, stay happy, get out in the sun, enjoy this beautiful summer.